let's get going. Let's get some content for these people who have been sitting there going, who are these unorganised people? Um, okay, now, if you're looking to explode your business, then webinars are a fantastic way to do it. Um, and I'm going to share with you why they're a fantastic way to do it. Um, firstly, as Scott was saying, we are organising the Conscious Wealth Summit and we have been exploring various forms of technology to actually help us to broadcast thousands of people all around the world and it has been a trial and error. Not everything has been as comic as this little session or as disorganised, um, but um, we've been, um, and this is probably this is going to be our best bet. We just have to figure it out. <laughs> so thank you for sticking around if you're still out there. Um, and we are going to deliver some great content in the next hour. Firstly, I am Monkey Rita Vorobioff and um, I am a uh, personal development specialist. I specialize in emotional freedom technique and sound healing. And I kind of realized that there are so many people out there who desperately want to make a difference in the world but they struggle with the mindset and the um, and the actual ability to get their head around where they need to go and what they need to do to get their message out there which is why when I met Scott around about is it four months ago Scott uh, yeah was it the beginning of the year or something wasn't it like about January February yeah, it was fairly close to the beginning of the year, so about six months ago, I guess, um, and we kind of realized we were on the same page and then started to talk about what we could do to help other people to share their message with the world, hence we created the Conscious Wealth Summit. So that's me. I'll allow Scott to introduce himself. All right. Well, um, you can probably see a photograph of me on that page there, the conscious one. That's me when I was 12 years old and hadn't grown <laughs> any facial hair yet. <laughs> Very uh, funny. <laughs> and uh, so I'm also known as the unlikely ad man and uh, I operate in the world of direct response copywriting and uh, direct response marketing. Uh, so I, the kind of work I do, just for those people who don't know what a copywriter is or direct response marketing or any of that is, essentially I put together uh, sales messages. I am a salesman in print, so I do a lot of the promotional work for the Conscious Wealth Summit. Um, and you know what I'm all about is teaching people the principles of direct response selling because really they are the principles that all salespeople use and if you've ever had the experience of reading something or talking one to one with a salesman and you've gone well wow you know that's exactly what I'm looking for that's because that salesman really knew how to communicate with you by you know finding about a bit about you what really makes you tick and uh, and then finding the product that's really going to work for you. So I'm someone who really wants to share that information because I believe that if we put the power of selling into the hands of good people, then you know everybody wins and um, we end up in a world where good people are in control of change because sales and business and marketing is where the greatest change happens. So, um, yeah, that's, a, that's about me. Is there anything I've missed there, Margarita? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think you've just about covered it. All right. Okay, fabulous. Um, so that's a little bit about us now. Um, sorry, just getting my technology working again. Uh, all right. Next slide. Okay, why webinars? Well, webinars are fantastic because um, they help you get your message across in a very personal manner. And um, 
it's um, you, you can have a direct connection with your people, with your tribe in a webinar. You can share lots of information, you can position yourself as an expert in a webinar and for most people they really want, they're, they're interested in social media now. They're, it was called Web 2.0 sort of four or five years ago and it was the biggest thing that had just entered the internet, um, the days of static websites was over and people wanted more interaction, they wanted a connection and that's why webinars are exploding at the moment, it's why they are so, um, they're, they're so good at selling stuff and at making a connection and finding the people who really connect with you and it's a personal touch. So that's why webinars are such a great way to really get your message out there. They can also be um, sort of perennial, so um, they're not perennial, they're, um, you can put a webinar out there in the world and it can be watched 24-7 for as long as you want. You can have it up there for days, weeks, months, years and people can keep coming back to it um, and finding out who you are, what you're about and if you're the right person for them. So there's a number of reasons why webinars are so popular and you know they can be a bit scary to start with, um, particularly if you don't want to stuff up like we just have this today. Um, but they're really very, very effective. And look, if you if you uh, are willing to make a few mistakes along the way, then they're absolutely brilliant. Next, we're going to talk about some software and platforms, and we're going to show you some of the various options that we've looked at. It's not going to be an exhaustive collection. Um, but certainly we're going to have a look at some of the options that are out there and the pros and cons. Um, a basic webinar structure, so how you can, um, what you need to do to um, put a webinar together and how it works best. Uh, and next. We're going to look at some do's and don'ts on a webinar and finally we're going to explain to you where you can go to explode your success even further. So um, that's what we've got in store for you today. Now Scott, have you got anything that you would like to add to that about why webinars or any of that list that we have there? I think what, what might work is I know that you've sort of prepared some material here and I haven't had any input on that. So what maybe what will work is if I just interrupt you regularly and often um, and <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and between the two of us we can we can cover a fair bit of ground I think and that's going to be most useful for people. Okay, fabulous. All right, sounds good to me. Okay, so that's the general content that we're going to cover today. Um, now let's have a look at some of the platforms and here's something earlier. Now um, here is, uh, this is where it's going to be, this is another test people, not for you, for us because I'm going to see if I can change what's coming up on my video screen. So I'm going to go to there and go screen share. Oh, hello, that's me. Um, I just want to change my screen share. Yeah, so if you click on screen share again, it'll give you the option of which screen to share, like which window to share. You're so right. And no, I don't want to share tailored lentil patties. <laughs> um, I've got too many things up on my, there we go, that's the one I want. Share selected window and we've got a little wheel spinning so it's doing something hopefully it's not about to crash uh oh I can hear you fine margarita so you haven't crashed Okay, good. Oh, all right, good. That's good. The screen looks good. And it awesome. Looks fine. looks fine from here. Okay. Excellent. Fabulous. Well, that worked. 
just have to know that uh, when I do stop screen share, I'm going to come up on the video. Okie dokie. Now, this is um, any meeting, and look, I like any meeting. Anymeeting.com is a webinar platform, and you can do tele seminars or webinars from here. Um, and they're actually a free service. What happens is they have advertisers who advertise on the platform when you're broadcasting and you can broadcast up to 200 attendees. So you can see there 200 attendees free um, or if you don't want any ads you can have one for 25 attendees that is just $18 a month and 200 attendees which is $70 a month with no ads. So and you know I've used any meeting a few times and it works really well. I've got some fabulous features. Pretty much they've got just as many features as any of the other um, the ones that you pay for. It's just that you have to put up with having some ads, which can be a bit distracting for your attendees, and it's possible that they're going to click off and you know go off somewhere else. Because I don't know about you, but I tend to multitask, and I'll have a webinar going, and then I'll have something going else going on over here, and then I'll be typing an email, and you know it. It's not very conducive <laughs> to actually absorbing information if you're multitasking. So if you're multitasking right now, stop it. Um, and uh, but look, any meeting is it is a good platform, and I thoroughly recommend that you look into any meeting um, if you're looking at a webinar system. There is um, the age old go to meeting, and um, go to meeting is great. It's you know it's used by all the top people. The thing with GoToMeeting is that I think it was about two years ago or 18 months ago, their prices went through the roof. So whereby about two years ago, you used to be able to get you know up to a thousand people on a webinar for you know 69 or 99 dollars a month, 69 if it was on special. Now I think it's something like um, 99 dollars a month is the cheapest, and that's for up to 100 people and then anything over that you're going to something like $299 a month and then <clears throat> I think anything from um, 500 people over on a webinar is about $1,000 a month. Now I mean obviously 500 people is a lot of people on a webinar um, but um, if you're planning on this being something that you're going to make a into an integral part of your business, then it's likely that you know three months, six months, twelve months down the track, you may have over five hundred people on a webinar, and it's you know you need to decide whether that's something that you want to be able to afford every single month. Mm, can I add something here? Go for it, mate. Well, uh, so I've had a little bit of experience as a regular punter. Uh, with go to meeting and go to webinar um, and the people that I've been an audience to have been some of the the bigger names in marketing and I'm, I'm particularly thinking of uh, Frank Kern here I've been to a few of his webinars that he's created and he gets big audiences and he maxes out his account there he gets he fills all 1,000 uh, possible audience members. Um, so he has expressed frustration uh, over the years about that um, and, and now regularly in his emails when he's telling people about, you know, come getting people to the webinar, he says, you know, get in early and be there early because if you don't, you might be one of the people that gets locked out. Mm. Um, however, he continues to use it, so uh, you know, obviously, he has some satisfaction there. He's probably on a sixty-nine dollar a month plan, mm. uh, because they actually preserved those plans. If you are on a sixty-nine or a ninety-nine dollar a month plan for you know up to a thousand people or ten thousand people or whatever it was, then you stayed on that plan. So he's probably it's probably very cost effective for him. Okay, um, another one that I've tried and is very good is Meeting Burner. 
and meeting burner is actually um, quite cost effective again a great platform I've seen lots of write-ups where plenty of people who were um, go to webinar um, uh, advocates have dropped GoToWebinar and gone to Meeting Burner. Now, obviously, Meeting Burner is very keen to promote that, um, but it is a good platform. I have tried it. Their support is fantastic. Everything that I've had trouble with and struggled with, if I have struggled with the technology, they've been onto it and they've helped me out. <laughs> and it is, um, it's a lot cheaper than go to webinar. So if you've got just 15 attendees, it's free. If um, you've got up to 50 attendees, it's 39.95 a month. So you know, to, when you're starting a webinar, a series, you could start with the free one, and then when you've got a few people rolling up, you could sign up for the 39.95 a month, and then when you're really building your list, you could go to the 99.95 a month, which is up to a thousand attendees, which is what go to webinar used to be. So um, Meeting Burner is a great option. Um, now I'm going to add another one in here that I didn't think about before. And this isn't a webinar platform, it is a tele-seminar platform. So if you would prefer not to have video and to go with tele-seminars, then instant tele-seminar is a great option. And it's much cheaper. It can be more reliable because, look, this technology, to be honest with you, um, it can play up. There's lots of wheels involved. There's lots of different things working in the background. And, um, you know, the less stuff that you have going on and when you're starting out in particular, the less stuff that you have to play with, the easier it's going to be for you, the less that you have to focus on. So... Instant tele seminars are great if you don't have a presentation that you want to show people um, and you just want to, to, to speak pretty much. So there you can see I've just brought up you've got um, you can have the basic for 47 a month, premium for 67, pro is 97 um, and then guru was 197. So um, and that's interesting they've got web as well now I hadn't looked at that. So they have your phone participants, they also have web participants, so there you go, it's actually a webinar platform as well. Learn something new every day. Uh, okay, so that's instant teleseminar. Now the other things that I have played with in the last couple of days, one was Ustream. Now this was, this worked really, really well. I thoroughly enjoyed broadcasting on Ustream. You can broadcast for free. Yeah. Um, the only My, thing I is... I thought it was good too, Margarita. The interactivity, the ability for people to, you know, make comment on what you were saying and your ability to interact with people obviously working really well. Yeah, absolutely. I enjoyed it because I could see people typing into the live chat that was on the right-hand side um, and, yeah, it was quite interactive and a great platform. The only thing was that the free broadcast, when the listener logs in, I think it was, was it every 10 minutes there was an ad or every 20? Um, I think different people were experiencing different things, which is weird because... In the first two thirds of that broadcast, I saw zero ads, saw nothing. Oh, really? Yeah, which is I, I don't know. Um, and then I they started to come on, and what would happen was the ad would just completely interrupt the broadcast and play over the top of it, so I could no longer hear what you were saying, and I couldn't see what you were presenting on the screen. Hmm. Um, and what we also established while we were in that broadcast was that the other audience members were watching advertisements at completely different intervals and you had no ability to tell when people were actually being interrupted by an advertisement. 
Yeah, so it wasn't like I could actually schedule, oh, okay, there's an ad on now, I'm going to stop and wait because everybody was having ads at different times. It was just kind of random. Yeah, and we should make it clear, this was the free version of Ustream. Mm, absolutely. So um, I love the platform and I went to have a look at the upgrade and um, I just, for what we want it for, you pay per... Um, per viewer hour. So if you have a hundred people on and you're broadcasting for an hour, that's a hundred viewer hours. So um, this is actually a great platform for um, small audiences and um, particularly if you're just starting out. But because this event that we're putting together is so large, it was just the, the cost was going to be astronomical for the amount of viewer hours that we needed. So I kind of moved away from Ustream, but I thoroughly enjoyed the experience with Ustream. Um, and um, I would just recommend if you're going to do it, then definitely upgrade to a paid version so you get rid of those ads because they are really going to distract your audience and you're going to lose them for sure. It won't be a pleasant experience for them at all. Um, the other one that's similar to that is Justin TV. Same kind of platform, same features, pretty much the same cost, just a different URL. Uh, now, that's um, live broadcast. There are options for webinars, which are a very, very good option, and they've pretty much just come onto the scene about six months ago, maybe a bit longer, eight, nine months ago, but they are a recorded webinar system, and what the... Um, what the facilitator does is will record a webinar. Now they might have a live webinar that they had, um, and then um, uh, then broadcast live, and then take in the recording and put it on these um, record this um, sorry recorded webinar systems, and then you can schedule them to play whenever you want two times a week, three times a day, and there's all these really cool features that they have that kind of make it look live and make it so people have to turn up at a particular time, um, but that you don't have to be there. And they also have little um, a little section down the bottom where you can type in questions and that will go to the organiser of the video. So the organiser just has to check their email and they can answer questions through email. For the attendees. Uh, now, what I do suggest with this is there are lots of people out there who are using these systems and they are they're playing them as if they're live. So they record it and make it sound like they are live every single time that the webinar gets played. I don't think that's smart because people find out very, very quickly that there's really nobody there and it's exactly the same webinar that plays three times a day. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't advise that. I would yeah, suggest... I'd, I'd like to share a bit here too. It's just a personal experience of one webinar that I attended um, and they, <laughs> look, I don't, I can see the value even in recording it as though it is live. Um, but by golly, you've got to do that well. Um, I had the experience of attending a webinar where they tried to pretend that it was a live webinar and they, they foolishly were in the same room together. And at the beginning of the webinar, at the beginning of the recording, actually, in reality, they, one person said to the other, uh, oh, now, can you hear me? <laughs> and the funny thing was that the acoustics in the room of the two different people, of course, was exactly the same because in reality they were in the same room. So they tried to set up this thing where everyone thinks this is a live recording. Then you get 10 minutes into this recording and they start talking over, uh, over the top of each other in a way that is only possible for two people in the same room. So they were blatantly lying to their audience and it just didn't work and I really didn't want much to do with them after that. And so that's, that's kind of what you'd be doing to your audience 
if you tried to pretend that what you were doing was a live webinar when really it's a recording? Yeah, you've got to be really honest and authentic in whatever you're doing whenever you do it because um, people aren't stupid and they will eventually figure it out and as if they think that you're lying to them, it doesn't matter what you say after that, you have lost them, absolutely lost them. So um, I do, I have, um, I'm actually using something called Easy Webinar Plugin and I love it. Evergreen, what I had on this on the screen before, the Evergreen business business system, I believe that's a Mike Phil same product, and he was one of the first to come to come out with it. Um, Easy Webinar plugin is something that's been put together by a lovely guy called Casey Zeman. And um, um, his... by the way, Casey Zeman will be one of our feature speakers uh, during the Conscious Wealth Summit. So he's yeah, and fantastic guy knows a lot about video and webinar. Absolutely. So, um, you know, he's going to, to cover his Easy Webinar system, which is um, the Easy Webinar plugin. He also has something called YouTube Revealed, which is also um, all about how to optimize YouTube to promote yourself, um, which, great product. I bought that and uh, love it, love it. Um, and Easy Webinar plugin is, it is a fantastic product. Um, I'm not giving you an affiliate link, by the way. I'm just letting you know that it's, it's a great product. Product. It's actually cheaper than Evergreen, and um, look, Casey's a good guy, a really nice guy, and he's there to help you all every step of the way to, to get it up and running. Um, now, the great thing about this is, and uh, I foolishly was going to bring this up while you were speaking and then realized it was going to be really distracting, but um, what we're using tonight, what we're testing tonight, and I uh, have stuffed up so far at the beginning tonight, mind you, I think we've been going all right the last... 30 minutes? I think we're doing all right now. I think we're doing okay now. We're on a roll now. Um, you can see now that um, this is Google Plus. Now, when you go to Google Plus, you have an option to start a Hangout. Now, this is free technology, and that's why we have gone with this um, because, not because we're cheap, but because it works. Um, and you know, there's a couple of things that we need to iron out, I believe. But um, it's uh, gr it's got great backup, being a Google product. When you start a hangout, you can have up to nine people on a hangout, and then what it does is it broadcasts through YouTube. Now they've just added some fantastic features, which means like what we're doing is we've taken. Um, you can sh share your screen and um, choose whatever you've got up on your computer at the time. You can share that particular screen and then swap around. Um, you can have a couple of presenters online um, and um, sort of j um, juggle between the two of you. It uh, can um, also embed it, which is what we've done. It's where you're watching it from. We've embedded it into our own website, which is really cool because you can brand what you're doing. So um, thoroughly um, an advocate so far of Google Plus. And uh, what's your impression so far, Scott? Yeah, I was impressed as soon as I heard it. Um, my introduction, as soon as I, I learned about it, my introduction to Google Plus Hangouts was uh, there was a girl whose name escapes me right now. She's an actor in a, uh, she created in fact a web series called The Guild and she had created uh, a book club where she gets together with four of her friends and they talk about fantasy novels and uh, each week they come up with one novel and they just talk about that and then they, you know, they go on for about an hour or two just talking about a book that they've read uh, and they get thousands of people watching their book clubs and I was completely fascinated with this um, and I, I'm amazed at how Google has made this free. It just blows my mind that they've been able to do that and I'm super impressed with how it just automatically records what you're doing and uploads it to YouTube so that as soon as we finish this broadcast we can go to YouTube and our broadcast will be there and available for anyone to watch on 
you know, on rotate, like they can repeat, they can watch it whenever they like, pause it, come back to it, however you want to do it. So, uh, plus, of course, because it's on Google Plus, which is a social network, the ability to share and invite other people and to actually, ha while you're going, have something go viral is also a possibility with Google Plus. So, I'm really, really impressed with it. Absolutely, and um, I had forgotten about that, the fact that uh, it does record and it records directly to YouTube and of course with YouTube, once it's recorded, you can download it, you can edit it, you can do whatever you want with it, um, or you can just leave it on YouTube and share it all over the world. And uh, of course, there is you have an unlimited audience with Google with their servers. You can have uh, two people, you could have 10,000 people. So um, yeah, so far I am thoroughly impressed with Google Plus and I dare say this is probably something that um, they do intend to monetize in the end, probably a bit like Facebook. But at the moment it's early days and you know if you get in early then um, I think it's a, it's a great way to go for um, doing what we're doing right now. Yeah, and, and as a sort of full disclosure thing to Margarita, I think the thing that we are currently dealing with is comments and interactivity. Um, we It's not something we've mastered yet. We haven't fully figured out how we can get around that. Now, if we were just on the Google Plus platform, then comments and interactivity would actually be very easy. But what we're doing is, doing is embedding the live broadcast into our own website. So we need to figure out how we can have the live broadcast happening on our own website and at the same time have interactivity with our audience. Absolutely. And uh, you can actually see, I've just realized that I'm, I'm fishing our, um, our website to see what's happened with the, um, with the live stream, but nothing really. Um, now, I have gone to our Facebook page and I'm just having a look to see if there, no, there are no comments. So we probably don't have anybody online. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you know, that's, that's something we'll get over. <laughs> I'll have to go and cry into my tissue box later. Um, probably a little bit relieved if there's nobody out there <laughs> considering the start that we had. Now, okay, I'm going to I'm going to turn my video off. So when I stop screen sharing to change back to our PowerPoint presentation, it's not going to show my face. So there we go, and which is a crying shame too, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, as as much as you love me, Scott, there might be people out there who aren't quite as uh, intrigued about my face as, as you are, um, or attached to it as you are. So now I want to go back to my PowerPoint presentation. There it is. Okay, I do like the fact that I can switch without having to stop broadcasting. So it's going to take a little time to pick that up and the little wheel's spinning. I always freak out when my little Mac wheel starts spinning that it's going to crash. Um, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I know it well. <laughs> Particularly when you're in the middle of something like broadcast. Okay, there we go. It's switched. So we've done software platforms. Now, um, I'm not going to cover the rest of the content in great detail because I don't want to bore you to tears. And uh, it is now 10 to 8. So we have been live for about, you know, 50 minutes. So um, let's just go. For us to consider when it comes to our full blown event. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Making sure we keep things rolling nice and fast to get the information out there because ultimately the whole thing's being recorded. So. Yeah, true. We've got to keep it tight. Okay, so a basic webinar structure. What you need to do first is position yourself. Um, so share a bit about you, your background. You do not want to go on for 30 minutes about you and your story. You want to give them a, a short little five-minute thing, something that's interesting, captures their attention, and lets them know 
why you have the credibility that you have to be able to present the material that you are presenting. Um, you want to position your topic, uh, what is possible, what's in it for them from the topic that you're going to be speaking about. Uh, you want to you want to position your audience so why they want to be there. This is for you if blah blah blah. Position your talk so give them a summary. Um, explain to them what you'll be coming do, covering during the presentation, and then you want to position your offer right in the beginning. What happens for a lot of people is they come to a free presentation, and don't you just hate it when you've listened to a free presentation and right at the end somebody tries to sell you something? I know, I feel that way. Uh, but if you mention that right in the beginning, that this is what I'm going to cover today, and then at the end. I'm going to make you an irresistible offer. On you don't actually say you're going to make an irresistible offer. You just say something like, um, "If you connect with me and you feel an alignment and you would like more information, then I'm going to give you somewhere to go and not leave you hanging, because I'm going to give you some of my best stuff." And that's another point. You want to give some of your absolute best tips and tricks and skills and information during your webinar. Why do you want to do that? A lot of people cringe at giving away the, their best stuff for free. But the thing is, if you give your best stuff away for free, then people go, wow, if that's what she's, what, what she's giving away for free, just or he, just imagine what they've got in the package that they're offering. So, and make sure you've got pretty good stuff in your package. Don't give everything away in your free presentation so you don't have anything left. Um, but it really does position yourself and people feel um, a real connection to that. They feel very grateful and there's a certain amount of um, uh, almost like a, a sense of um, they need to give something back to you in return because you have given so much to them for free. Uh, so it's, it's really important that you do that. I just want to give up on one point there, Margarita. Actually, yeah. I don't. I don't think there's any reason why you can't just come straight out and say, "And at the end of this presentation, I am going to make you an offer, an irresistible offer, one I don't think you could possibly refuse." You know what will happen if you do that is people like to prove you wrong, and so <laughs> <laughs> they will stay till the end just to prove that you couldn't possibly make them an offer that they couldn't possibly refuse. And tell you what, if your offer is good enough, then after having listened to you for, for the whole of your presentation, they, they may very well just be lending themselves to, uh, to buying you know, whatever full-blown product it is you have to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Very good point. Um, but if and and exactly, if you are upfront with them right in the very beginning, then they're um, a lot less likely to switch off when you get to the end and make your offer because you've told them. You've full disclosure. You've said I'm going to to sell you something at the end, and uh, so when you get there, they're fully prepared. There's no resentment. There's no switch off. They're you know, if you've given some good information and they have connected with you, then they're going to stick around and listen. Plus, the other thing is that you want to maybe hold something back till after you've made your offer. So you can let them know just before you make your offer, look, I've got another really important tip to share with you and this is a game changer. I'm just going to tell you about my offer first and then I'm going to give you the game changer after I've given you my offer. And then they have to stick around because they want to find out what the game changer is. So that's a really good tip for structuring your presentation. And you want to tell them what you're going to teach them you're going to tell them and then you're going to tell them what you've taught them. So you set yourself up for the presentation, then you give your information and then you give them a summary. You cover the points that you've, um, that you've been through during the presentation and then you make your irresistible offer. Okie dokie. If I may just add one thing there, that formula, what you just explained there, you tell them what you're going to tell them, you tell them and then you tell them what you told them. That formula for selling has been around for a very, very long time and the reason it's been around for a very long time is because it works no matter what the media. It's just being applied to webinars here. 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, that's um, yeah, and you know, there's no point changing it because it does work. So you just follow the, the system. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Some do's. Do be yourself. Do be authentic. Um, and because if you try to copy other people and be someone that you're not, people know straight away. Even if they don't know it consciously, on a subconscious level, they pick up some anything that's inauthentic. So be yourself. If you're quirky, if you're funny, if you're dry, um, whatever it is, who, whatever you are quintessentially, you need to make it interesting. Obviously, you don't want to bore them off their seat. Um, but just be you and relax. That is so, so important because if you are really uptight, people get that vibe. And if you're not authentic, they get that too. And they will switch off. They will not stay to the end of the presentation. Um, do be prepared. Now, look, I know that that's probably a little bit funny <laughs> considering the beginning of our presentation. Um, I have to say that... I was prepared. I did ha I did actually come with a prepared presentation. Um, it was just that we were figuring out the technology in the beginning. So <laughs> please forgive us for the, the be bit in the beginning, but we were prepared with a presentation and we do know our stuff. So um, yes, do test your software. Ha <laughs> ha. We did that. We just did it live. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, we, we were honest about what we were up to. Absolutely. So we didn't try to lie to you and mask it. We actually told you what we were doing. Uh, do enjoy yourself and uh, and have fun. You know, if you make it all dry and serious and boring, then um, it's just going to you know bore your um, bore your listeners and they they won't stick around for the end. Tell the world what you're doing. Go out and promote yourself on social media, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you are, you know, YouTube, whatever you're doing. Um, tell the world what you're doing and get them to come along so um, you can actually have an audience, which is really important. Anything else you can think of that you need to do, Scott? Um, switch off your damn phone. Oh, that's a don't. Right, okay. Um, yeah, no, that's a do. Switch off that's your a phone. That's a do. You do switch off your damn phone. Um, what else? I, you know what? I Tell the world. Um, I, I don't think we can really stress that one enough. Mm. Um, and, and clearly, in this example, which we knew we weren't going to get a big crowd to because we weren't trying to get a big crowd, you know, we just wanted a few people on board so that we could test it out and see how it was going to go. Uh, when it comes to our full-blown live event, the Conscious Wealth Summit, well, you know, that's a different story and we have been telling the world about that and, and so far we seem to be going strong. I'm noting, uh, Margarita, that we're, we seem to be going strong on the registrations for that. And Absolutely. It's, just, it's one thing that I have noticed about inviting people to an event over the years of, of doing this for seminars and all sorts of things is that you kind of got to tell four people to get one. Mm. Um, and it's just it's kind of a numbers game and, and at times to think about life and inviting and your business and the exciting stuff that you've got, that you've developed uh, as a numbers game, it kind of feels a bit cringeworthy, but really, it's just that's how life is. Uh, mm. So be prepared to tell a lot more people than you actually want to have attend. Yeah, absolutely, because life happens, time zones are different all over the world, people forget, um, and you know, they, they, lots of people just expect to be able to watch the recording later, which is why it's great to be able to record it. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've had some webinars where 40 odd people have registered and I've had five turn up. So, I don't know if that's a reflection on me. I made an effort not to take that personally. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, um, that's actually one of my don'ts is, um, it's number, 
three down there. Don't judge the number of attendees. If you have one person, present to one person. Treat it as a practice run um, and do the very best you can and then just keep telling more people, telling more people, putting it out there, doing them over and over and over. I can't stress that enough. The more you do them, the more practice you get, the better it's going to be. The reason two and a half weeks out from the summit where um, we're testing all this and, and doing these practice runs is so when we get to the summit and we've got four or five thousand people on the line that we're not doing what we did tonight. <laughs> um, so the rest of the don'ts, don't take yourself too seriously. That's you know part of the whole having fun thing. I've had um, some disastrous webinars in in previous times, um, just from the perspective that nothing was working the way I wanted it to. Um, the the screen froze a couple of times, and I had to shut down my system and start again. And there wasn't any point in getting frustrated and upset. It was just it happened. And you know the attendees who were there were so appreciative of um, my fairly relaxed attitude. It's not to say that I was kind of enjoying the experience but I had a bit of a laugh and most people actually came through and said love your laugh, just keep laughing and uh, well done for actually getting through to the end. So they'll appreciate the fact that you persevere and get through to the end no matter what happens because you know what, sometimes stuff just happens. So don't take it too seriously, don't get stressed out and upset, don't get attached to the outcome and uh, don't give up after your first one because you're probably not going to have too many people unless you're you know, just uh, absolutely fantastic and you happen to master it the first time round and uh, if you do then I'm poking my tongue at you right now because it's taken me a long time to get my head around webinars. Um, but. Um, yeah, just keep going and trial and error and putting them out there until you're an absolute pro. And okay, this is where you guys get to have more. So um, we are running, this is the event that we will be running, the Conscious Wealth Summit and you can register for free at theconsciouswealthsummit.com. There will be 14 incredible speakers, including Scott and myself, mind you, um, about various aspects. Hi. Beg your pardon? I was just cheering and saying hooray. Hooray, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are 14 speakers in the areas of mindset and marketing and it's going to be just one hell of a ride. It starts on the 22nd of September and it's free to attend. So go over to that particular website right now and register. Get your name down. And um, we are not selling anything today. This is totally free for you to turn up and learn how to get your message out there, how to get the right mindset, how to be a, um, an absolute champion and live the life that you've always wanted to live because we always want to live brighter than we are and you deserve to. So that's where you can go to get more. Now, I've been very naughty and I haven't got a slide that tells you what I've just told you. But I can pretty much tell you that what I told you is. Um, <laughs> I know, just going on the fly here. Um, is that you need a certain structure to your webinar. We showed you the platforms, the various platforms that you could use. And um, we spoke about the do's and the don'ts of a webinar. So there you go, plain and simple. That's what we told you on the webinar today. Um, and that's it. Oh, look, end of show. Um, so that's it for today. Do you have anything to add, Scott? No, uh, I don't think I've got any anything to add. Perhaps just to to recap on what the Conscious Wealth Summit is all about is really helping you get the right mindset that is going to propel you forward if you're someone who's interested in starting a business that's all about helping people and helping the planet um, to put you in the right mindset and then give you all the tools that you need to spread your message and attract customers and of course money to you uh, and that's what the event is all about so 
you know, if that's what you're interested in, if you're if you've got a brilliant idea and you want to know how to get it out there and you want to turn that into money in your bank account, then uh, I really want to have you at the Conscious Wealth Summit and really you've got nothing to lose, it's free. So um, we'd love to have you there. Absolutely. Okay, so that's our presentation for tonight. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it, particularly the shenanigans in the beginning and congratulations if you stuck around through that. And uh, if you'd like to give us some feedback, you can always go to our Facebook page, which again is facebook.com forward slash Conscious Wealth Summit. Let us know what you thought. Um, were we good? Were we bad? Were we absolutely terrible? Um, and uh, But just, you know, don't be too harsh on us. And uh, there will be more live presentations as we get closer to the summit on the 22nd of September. You can register for the summit below this page and we will tell you about all the events coming up. So thanks again for being online with us and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the summit. Terrific. Margarita, that was fun. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> What's it all? Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's the end of our presentation. I'm going to stop the broadcast as soon as I find which. There it is. End broadcast.